You ready for this challenge? This one might be tricky for us. This is interesting, isn't it? So yeah. we're breaking 70. I mean, I think we should call it breaking par because obviously breaking 70 is specific with any of our break 80, break 90, break 100 videos. If you're playing a par 65, yeah. <laughs> or you're paying a par 73 yeah it's going to be relative on average obviously so that i think the par is 68 or 69 i guess yeah i think so it's par 60 well you got um two par fives haven't you from the four par threes is it so it must be 70 or 69 so we are trying to break 70 stroke break par these stats that we're going to use in today's video come from the team at shotscope now shotscope have no say in this video it's not a sponsored video they are just letting me have access to hundreds of millions of shots and the break 71 is obviously harder because not many of their clientele is breaking 70s you can imagine like you're talking pga tour average scoring is like around this point but i think it's a really interesting goal to see why you're not playing as great as you are and if you're playing off you know if you're shooting 75 72 and you wonder why you can't break 70 hopefully some of the answers of what you should practice are in this video as you watch me and matt show you clearly how we can't break par stroke 70 <laughs> should be fun So Matt is around 58 yards to the pin, so he's just outside of what Shotscope would call a short shot, yeah. which is 50 yards in. You know, 50 yards in, they're looking for you to get within six foot as much as possible if you want to break 70, which we'll talk about the stats as we go on. Yeah. But this is classed as an approach shot, and the first thing to kick us off with approach shots, which I think is quite counterintuitive, is that they're saying don't be too aggressive. Actually, it's the reverse, rather than trying to chase birdies. Mm. They want you to just get it on the green more often because their stats show, which will show up here, that you get down into more from, say, 30 foot on the green than you do just off the green chipping. Chipping, because your um, first putt's generally closer than your chip shot. Now, what's really interesting with this shot is because of the way the green slopes, I would never really be... I'm, I want it on the green yeah, here, don't on you? The, on the green's good here. Like, it's because it's heavily right to left. There's a big tier from this bunker that slopes down. So I'm sure Matt's just chucking it right at this pin and open it roll somewhere on the green. Anything inside 20 foot, he'd be happy. Second shot of the day and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. on the green's all good, I think. Up the right and hope for a good bounce. Yeah, which he's done. So it's out to the right. We're not going to see it land, but it should now go left, roll down the green. Should be somewhere on the back there it appears yeah. that is a good result and a great example of not being crazy aggressive it's a little bit of a bare one yeah not easy i've got no green so i'm now gonna do i've done a video on this but i'm going up there up to the right let the slope help you nicely struck now what's just come back a little bit using the contours of the green nice shot if i go at the flag i reckon that close that way is basically a, an amazing shot where that yeah. was a pretty average not really i didn't really do anything there. yeah yeah so i'm as close as i would be with an amazing one it's nicely played thank you so two examples here of us trying to give ourselves an opportunity and that's one of the keys to breaking this very tough barrier. The more looks we can get from these areas, the better. I don't know how many of my students would play that shot that you've just played. Or I, even to think of it. You know yeah. for a fact someone like Rory off fake seven. Yeah. He's not actually off seven, he's off eight, but anyway. <laughs> um, he wouldn't look that way. No, no. Know in your proximity that you want to get into it. Remember that it's left and right too, not just short and long. Get it in that circle. Oh, didn't turn. Uh, it's a misread, isn't it? Yeah. It obviously isn't meant to turn. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Me as well, we're breaking 70 years. I guess you have to finish everything. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So tee shots, par five. With your tee shots, if you want to break 70, you need to be aggressive. Like you need to get comfortable with having a layer of aggression because if you look at the proximities here, I mean, it almost halves when you get within a certain distance. So I think it's, you know, when you're 200 yards out compared to 175 in, 125 out there, it's kind of range. Your, your proximity to the hole is so much closer and you need those opportunities. You need that proximity if you are going to break those scores. So I'm going to be aggressive. It's a par five. Need we a need weapon. to go for it. It a little unfortunately. Slightly up the right. Should be fine though. It's gonna be tight, but it's just a really good example as well for me, yeah. this hole, where I think management comes in if you want to really lower those scores, is that like, I don't see the fairway and the rough as much different up here. No, I'm literally just trying to get this as far up as possible and hope that I don't go in the bunker and if I aim at it I'm very yeah. unlikely to go in it. Yeah and because of the angle of the hole is a right leg like it's a right angled dog leg if yeah. I go straight and hit the fairway I'm 230 out yeah. where if I go in the what we call rough which isn't I know it isn't that bad up here yeah. I'm going to be 220 out which is all 200 and that's a massive difference. And with your little rinky you can pop that out. Yeah exactly go, exactly. Yeah. Now, if they went and grew the rough up the right here, I would just, li you know, I would be going up the left, full stop. I'm going to try and not tow this. <laughs> That's your version of aggressive. <laughs> yeah. I'm but aggressively not going to miss I it this. I'm going to hit it hard, and I'm going to try and hit a hard cut. Oh, it's just a little toe. Not a bad shot, it's a bit up the left, but you're in play. Yeah. Oh, that's a bullet. That's a knuckle. Great shot. 260 out. Don't he could have snuck right. the green there. That's a knuckle ball. That's straight at it. So you're 260 to my 230. Yeah, up the left and up the right. I mean, I wouldn't want to be this far right. I've got lucky. I might have even flipped that and come down, to be fair. But 30 yards aggression. is a big difference, isn't it? Say that again. 30 yards is a big difference, isn't well, it? Well, that bit of aggression, even though I think you've played a great shot and you'll spin the advantage around, I would rather have this than 260 every time. So I'm going to pop a hybrid somewhere near the green. Not sure I can, I can get it. I just don't think I can be that aggressive with my approach. Oh, I pulled it. Bit it's up the left. Up the It'll be fine. And aggression's not just whack it hard, is it? It's no, it's line a on line this on this occasion. Like you don't Mindset. always don't always have to think that it's blitzing it 300. Yeah, I agree. Up the left, up the right, make a short shot in. Yeah, like that's aggression. Yeah, I agree. So Mark just up the left, kind of similar to my approach on the uh, first. He might he's inside 50 yards here, so this will count as short game. But he's literally bumbled it down, get it on the green stuff as this now will roll away. Just hope it doesn't run too far. That's a great shot, actually. That is a great shot, giving himself a birdie chance. I'm lucky for Matt. I mean, it was a total bullet. And you can see there he's run through, chipping up the length of the green. He will be wanting this to be inside his six foot range, which it is. He is good at that. Very good shot. Good roll. Oh, it's all gone serious. No <laughs> bants now. <laughs> <laughs> it's tournament mode. Well played. Great Lining my ball up and everything. Very good. So par three scoring average over par, which I think would surprise some. Yeah. And this is a great example, 220-ish yards par three, even though it's very unoffensive with bounces. I'm going to try and roll an iron on. Um, a par here for me is feels like a win. You know, um, I've been sad enough in my lesson to go on the PJ Tour and count how many people are under par on par threes on their average. Yeah, not many. 215 people on that list. Do you know how many? None of them. Nine. Really? 
Yeah, nice shot. Needs the bounces, it's just drifting a little. Should be alright. But anywhere up there, sneaking the green here feels like a win. Yeah. Get up the right. I tried to get a little draw and I didn't quite get the shape. Oh, that could be nasty. Is that bunga? I think it might be. Uh -oh. A nasty distance. <laughs> so bogey avoidance. Got to avoid the bogeys. And this is a good example of maybe poor clubbing. You know, if I had a club that would fly this bunker, I'm going to be up there by the green. More. Yeah. Now I'm like, anything on the green for me is good. This is not easy. Oh, that's very well played. Great effort. Thank you. Good shot indeed. Not sure I'm going to avoid the bogey. Nice putt on the high side. Very good effort, that. Well done. Good three. Thank you. And under the scoring average, that's yeah. a win does take pressure off when you think a par's a win. Just about to say that, I have a <laughs> good perspective of what your shots mean. Like yeah. A par or not on certain holes will take pressure off. No, 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 no. That's like a two in my head, even though it's not. That's the same score, but. That putt is a game. That is an up. <laughs> and down of the year for me. Yeah, yeah very good. How far, sir? 95 to the front, which is, I think, where I need to throw it. Yeah. Such a good aggressive drive there. That is chipping. Great striker line stuff, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I've just pulled it. Oh, did, did that run in or not? Just on the edge, it's not, but it might have gone in. Oh. Such a good drive with Matt. He's got a tricky little chip, so he will have to engage the fringe, which gives it a layer of unpredictability. So he's just now, oh yeah, which it did. It unfortunately it really shot off that you hit like a down slopey bit and it just shot. You had to throw it like a yard shorter. Yeah. Now what's really interesting is Matt is further away than me, who's in the bunker but I would much rather be on the green than his one, because mine is funky. Little touchy bunker shot, feely one. Lovely. Your short game, sir, is a thing, definitely. I'm happy with that. It's very good. I almost felt like I couldn't hit that top. <laughs> I've been in many bunkers and been that close to the hole. <laughs> Right, Matt will just want to get inside mine now. Excellent putt. Very good. Cracking up and down. Bunker success 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Right, good example here of being aggressive off the tee and what Matt was saying earlier. Aggressive off the tee doesn't mean just thinking Bryce and DeChambeau, which lots of people do. This is a gap hole. You can't, you can physically get through the gap for distance, but there's no advantage and it's just, you would get through one out of 20 shots. I am aggressive to my spot. And that's something Tiger always said he was. He was aggressive to his spot. Right. So I can aim 10 yards left of a flag because I don't want to go in the bunker, but I'm aggressively going at that spot. I'm not hoping, like I am as aggressive of going to that spot. So for me, the two agendas here, hitting the fairway yeah. um, and getting as far up as I can without getting blocked out with my second on the approach. So I do take the slightly more aggressive club. I yeah. hit my top tolerance where I see lots of people play this hole and they really lay back and then it's just a really hard second. Yeah. Easy first, but then the second ruins how easy they've made the first. Yeah, and 
You're different because you have the power, so you can get closer than me and still get over. Yeah, there's so many. So my spot will be different to yours, and that's the point. You've got to work out your aggressive spots. There's so many scenarios, aren't there? Yeah. Um, and that's the point. You know, like yeah. you said it earlier, it doesn't just mean smash your drive. It does on some occasions, but it also means, you know, it, there's nuances to it. Because I see this hole as like a four and move on. See, I don't. I'm looking at this hole as a four move on as well, but I want to. I want an average 3.9 on this hole. Mm, yeah. I don't want to be 4.11. Yeah, because I see like the 15, 16, 17, probably more of a par hole as well. Like I'm seeing them as different, but yeah. Again, it might be plays into what shapes we hit, what we see. You're more accurate than me with drivers, so you're probably seeing that as a three point something, and I'm just seeing it as a par move. On yeah, to yeah, last. yeah. But I know you've got an advantage on the par five. Yeah, yeah, I can have a. So I want to push this to a three point nine, and then you, and then I can have the par five as a four point nine to your four point seven. Yeah. Yeah, good shot. Middle of the fairway, and see, Matt isn't as fussed about how far up he goes. Yeah, he's a little bit toey, but... A little clean, but it'll work. It's the perfect line. Same line, further yeah, up. just gone much further than you. I'm going to have like a nine or wedge. So 140 with the slope. Yeah. Good tee shot. I have gone <laughs> too far. I've gone beyond aggressive for my point here above my feet. Not, I've got a wedge. yeah this needs some control might change to a nine and cut it, but... just got to get it on the green yeah. don't be too aggressive with your approaches well. get a birdie opportunity oh, didn't have as big an effect as I gonna hit the right side possibly not yet yards Probably playing 110 on slope. 52? Yeah, yeah, 52. So this is an area of my game I would want to get, like my chipping has got much better. Mm -hmm. If I was really trying to break 70 more. Yeah. This is something I would put, I, I'm very guessy still with these. When I was playing a lot, there was a little guess. I kind of knew what I needed to do to get it close. Yeah. Club, swing length, speed. Yeah. It's all well, there. I'm still at a stage where. That's a good shot, I'll I think. Take that. When I hit them and they're in the air, I'm still not sure it's yeah. good until it lands. Where when I was playing lots, I would hit that and I would literally. That, you know, that has to be good. Yeah. So this is something I would really work on, as well as getting way, way stronger to take the pressure off, having to be that good at this. Yeah. <laughs> Right, Matt needs to get this within his six foot again. It's a basic chip. There's a bit of slope on the green. Lying fine, he's not got much loft. Need to be tight here. And he's gonna be disappointed with that and something he would wanna tighten up. I think what's interesting as well, for us, obviously, this is pushing us to our limits, but it's the same idea as if you're breaking 100, breaking 90, breaking 80. Yeah. Your limit is just that score. So whatever stats we give you in those videos, they're the ones you need to push. Because a few people are missing the point and saying things like, oh, but you guys can score really easily And when we play in the video. We're just playing in the video for fun. It's these, you know, I'm thinking if I'm not holding enough from six foot, yeah. I'm going to practice my putting more. Exactly. If I'm not hitting it proximity from 100 yards in more, yeah. I'm going to practice that area more. If I'm not able to hit the par fives enough in two, I'm going to go to the gym more and practice my accuracy. It's, it tells you what you need to get better at rather than you just maybe thinking about your and takeaway. And it's no guessing anymore, is it? Like if you collect Certainly your stats, less, yeah. like you're going to have your stats from shot scope and various sources you can do pga tour if you want to be really good. yeah like, there's stats out, out there that if one part of your game's not good enough then go and do it and get better at it it's definitely simple, isn't it mm. so i definitely remember playing a lot having a lot of these opportunities and feeling like i don't convert enough yeah my conversion rate from here probably is not bad it's just my expectations are wrong Oh, I've missed it again. I'm upset. No, oh, you're you're a rubbish putter. 
It is annoying though. <laughs> because the trouble is, I know I'm not going to have enough of them. Yeah. So you can focus on this or focus on having many more of them and it won't matter as much. That's a stinker. Five foot sloper. Brilliant putt. Well done. Save the day with that. So important. Well yeah, done. It is. 179 approach shot lesson 101 for nearly any scorer, but certainly if you want to break that magical par or 70, look where that pin is. Yeah. If you miss right here, luck, it's going to be hard. I am aggressively going to go middle of that green to even left side. That doesn't mean I'm always going to hit these targets I pick. But by having definite putt targets, it allows me to know what I need to go and work on. That's one of the big things I notice with amateurs. They don't pick targets and then they finish and they come for lessons. What's what's you know, what's the problem? I'm not sure, yeah. a bit inconsistent. Well if you're not sure then. We why need we, uh, to know because we've only got <laughs> an hour with a day and it could take me two hours to work out what really is the problem. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny, like lesson wise, throughout my coaching life, like I used to think 30 minutes was a long time. Now, like, yeah. three hours isn't yeah. a long time. I totally so agree. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It's just the evolution of trying to learn to get better at your job, which I think is a positive thing, mate. Yeah. Um, I'm going at the left side to the middle with a cut. With a six. It's right into the wind. We've switched holes. Anyone who knows this course, we played the other hole first just to uh, let the greenkeeper do their do. And I think we've realised why our tee shots have gone so far on the last hole. That's a beautifully controlled shot, middle of the green. You know, if arguably that you push that two yards to be variants closer to the hole than you wanted to. Yeah, that's like that's my the perfect gun aiming over here. I've got one of my right ones and now I'm a hero. Yeah. Like, thanks. But yeah. I'm not going to tell anyone yeah. that. I've <laughs> said that out loud. <laughs> I told you because of the camera, but I wouldn't have told anyone if there was no one here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's go a little. Go a little. Just slightly clean. Can't. It bounces, it'll be good. I can't see it, it so I think it's short. It will that flight, but it's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm putting probably, which is good for me. Nice. Wrong side of line. If I got that a better line, that would have... Uh, it's interesting because it fades away and that would have finished there with that. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah, a little tap in. But a little tester for Definitely you, bruh. A little tester. You're, you're marking, are you? I am. We are serious <laughs> golfers, Matthew. <laughs> it's to go two under. Get on. Get in. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Still yeah. gaining on my par three average there, though. Yeah, absolutely. That makes me happy. You missing would also make me happy. 44.7 holes without a free putt. Break mm. seven in. Basically, mm. just don't free putt. <laughs> Two and a half rounds. That's how many holes I play in a year. <laughs> <laughs> like proper holes. I'm not allowed to free putt in 2021. <laughs> Pressure's on. Literally free putt the first go in. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a stat though. That's quite a stat though, isn't it? No, I don't reckon any of my students are that high. That is an impressive stat. Oh, well done. I've actually got one student called Dan who's at 41 holes every free putt. Oh, what's he playing off? Nine. Oh, so he's hitting in the trees a lot Excelling. then? Selling, yeah. <laughs> hitting in the trees? <laughs> no, it's it putting, I meant. <laughs> See, this is now part five. This is where, for me, to break 70, this is where I would be thinking Bryson and Jim. Yeah. Like, you can take... I'm accurate enough within reason to hit the spaces on a par five, but I I would love an extra 30, 40, 50 yards to make these, because the scoring average at what it is, 4.7 something. 4.71, maybe. Like, I think my scoring average last year on Scott Soap was 4.8 on par fives, but... Like, we didn't play many. No. That hadn't settled that day. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, that could work, though. That just stays left. That could really work. It'll be tight. That's tight, yeah. Oh, it's 
miles in, towed it. No nice, chance. I like the tow draw, but no confidence to aim it. That's yeah, fine. What have you got in? Well, I'm playing a 200 yard, 211 front, uh, middle, sorry, 194 front rough. I'm just whacking a six iron between the bunkers and hoping I can get on the green yeah. to putt stuff. Out there. Knuckle. That, that needs to sit. It might need to just be calm. A calm. It could be oh yeah, that could be good. Pins That's at the back yeah. too. And this is another good example about angles as well here, isn't it? Yeah, like, I'm 40 yards further back, and this is yeah. what annoys me. Is what I say. I mean, I can. I've done that through my golfing life far more than I deserve to. Yeah. Like if I go and pick this tee shot, but on a better angle seven to eight iron in yeah. and that, like, i'm gonna hit the green most times with that well that one on the green is an above average like it's it's i'm happy i would say that's a good shot yeah so again just being aggressive off the tee getting as strong as you can off the tee if you want to break 70 like you do have to be doing what other people aren't yeah yeah so again you know maybe a fraction push but it's just good if it's the right distance middle cut eh? that's quite good. nice yeah great shot well done Whose is whose, Matthew? I feel like this is me because yours was knuckly. I agree. This is me. Oh, I thought I'd snuck in one of those curvy little flip balls. <laughs> Eagle time. Eagle face time. Eagle my face. Again, the aggressiveness shines through. Your shot, good to average. My approach shot was way above average. Yeah. But you're closer. Yeah. I want to be stronger. <laughs> I got it wrong. Just imagine if I spent the amount of time I spent practicing pitching and wedge and putting. Yeah. As a youngster growing up, just imagine at the right age where it's appropriate. If I'd spent sixty percent of that time going to the gym and the other forty percent to those skills, I don't reckon these skills would be that much different. Imagine the arms you'd have. Ah. Oh. Imagine. Look at, look at that look. Oh. Getting there, isn't it? Getting bigger. Alan, let me zoom in. Zoom I need. Zoom in on that I... gun. <laughs> like, it, there's something there now, and I never. There's something on this side. I didn't even know you had things on this what, side. What is that? That I don't know. I thought it was a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine my pins. <laughs> Leg days hard. That's the hardest. That yeah. Those kids need proper pumping, don't they? Yeah, you can't walk the next day. It's never fun, is it? Yeah. No. Such a lovely line. That it was. That was middle if it was the right weight. My Good. breaking 70 is so overbalanced towards me old in stupid putt. <laughs> That's a birdie though. You go three under here. So you're one under already. This to go three. You've conquered the video. You cannot drop three in the last three out four holes, can you? Don't put it past me. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. <sighs> Turn more. That's a birdie though. Two under plays one under. We can break 70 out of bounds on the next I'm going home. <laughs> oh, that needs to fly. It should be all right. That's all we're going to see it down. It, it will be actually luckily good if it gets a lie. Oh. Oh, I love it that good. We need a bounce though. Get over your bunkers. We won't get over the second. That could skirt between. <laughs> it's a great line. Don't do this, people. Bunkers are not good. Fairway bunkers. Certainly with a rough, not rough. This is funky, isn't it? On the green is a great shot. By the green is a great shot. Oh, don't be as good as that. Look, bounce. Oh, stay right. Oh, it's unlucky. That was close to being a mega shot. Yeah. Great effort. Okay. It's around the green. 
Yeah, but the trouble is, once you've hit it, all right, you always want more, don't you? <laughs> I'm just aiming that two yards right. Yeah. Now, now I want to aim it two yards right. <laughs> but I just stopped it there, I'd have been like that. <laughs> right, Matt has got a little fortunate because it's out of bounds left here, so he's just missed it. But now I don't, he's got to run, I don't know what he's going to do. I would go for that left bit of green as good as I can. Over on the left, would you? Yeah, that's where I would go. See, I wouldn't do that. You're going to go out right. I'm going to go out right in between the bunkers because it'll kick that way too, maybe. Yeah, I think they're much of a muchness. Mm, I, d I just feel like if I get this right, I'll have an easier third as well. Okay. Because I've not got a lot of green to work with if I hit it down the left. No. I want to try and make a par. That's going to go in that. No, it bounced straight. That's a good shot. So you have just gone that way. And that is a safe play. That's a really good shot from right. Get your wedge out. One will do. Stay up. That's a great putt. Thank you. Very nice weight through the rough or fairway, I guess that is. Hit one or two more greens from 125 to 50 yards is a stat which we've both demonstrated that we've not done. It's around 68% for scratch handicappers and in the 80s for tour pros. Yeah. Like bad tee shots, very difficult shots and now we're not hitting the green from inside 100 yards or 100, I was 100 yards and you were inside. Some sort of speed that you want it to out of that stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, Pat. Just get it in there. Yeah. Are we no. both marking? I've Ooh. marked, yeah. I think it's still on you. This is you proper. Can't drop three shots <laughs> Approach play, aggressive to your spots. Matt can't see the flag. The ball is a little below his feet out the rough. Um, he just needs to aim left side of the green and get it on there, so he's putting. Get one of my... Uh... You know, he's only 75-ish yards out. It's a chance where you would be wanting to really capitalise, but this isn't one of those situations. You pick a spot and you go with it. Get one of my greens in reg from... In 100 yards, yeah. It's yeah. up in that green in reg stat. Oh, I've gone aggressive there. You've popped it right. Bunker. Oh, no. That's another. That's in that bunker. From a hundred yards. Yeah, it's interesting. You wouldn't think you would miss. No. Like it, I looked at that stat and thought, well, we're not doing that. <laughs> it hasn't taken us long. <laughs> we are. <laughs> How far? 70, 80? Yeah, 72 yards middle. I'm playing about that. Yeah. So I'm going straight up that flag. Yeah, I mean, like you're. From this distance, my left and right miss is pretty... Minimal. So I'm not really seeing the bunker. I'm just hoping I hit it the right distance. And you have. It's a bit long. Isn't Slightly it? long, but... Again, it's that example I said earlier, this would need to get tighter for me yeah because i'm not look i have to be better than you my peers at this because their tee shots are going to be 10 past me a lot yeah and so i have to win it back there if i don't like again it's going to the gym but i can make that get better in three weeks of practice three weeks of the gym ain't going to make me hit it there that's a longer term goal and for me like i see with lots of my lessons that Getting better at this is literally just distance control. Yeah, it's hitting more shots. Hit, hitting the right yardage, like you there saying that you're not going to miss left and right lots. We've done 75 yards, and I think your um, standard deviation is like one point yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Like, you just need to get better at that short and long distance from here, not left and right. If, if you can't overpower people, mm. You can choose to work on that, which I would advise you doing it, but you can win it back in other places. I'm just going to have to pedal harder, and this is a place where I feel like I want to pedal. I, 
I, I, I used to be able to pedal much. This area, I, I was pedaling harder than my average field. I was yeah. in my upper group. Yeah. So then that allowed me to be 10 back. Yep. Matt's going to have to up and down this tricky little bunk shot because it's not much room. Nice little dunchy run, a little bit too duffy on that occasion. So he's going to be asked a question now. Again, back to my pitching. My pitching is actually quite good. And it just shows you how out of feel I am with it because it, I didn't know it was good even after I'd hit it and landed. I just need to get that sharper. Even on this occasion, I would take that all day long. Oh, Matt, this catches you. Doesn't, this could be a swinger. Not saying anything. I've oh, not hit. Oh no. He's left it short. Oh, jaws. Oh, tap it in. Unlucky. It was the second shot was weak. Yeah. Drive was average and the second shot was just wrong. Lucky. Bogey. Our style both one under. Can we break par? I am cacking it. <laughs> I'm nervous now, yeah. <laughs> we are um <laughs> Last hole 18, wind off the left, can't go right because we will reach the crud. Get a drive away, you'll be tested on your 100 yard pick shots <laughs> again. Oh, that should have been a two shot swing. Oh. Yeah, that should have. Yeah, up, up the right should be fine. That's fine. That's massive. Cool, that is up there. That is like going to get coffee off Adrian. That's nearly in the yeah pro shop. <laughs> oh no! Flicking. Uh oh. Flicking. I might hit an iron, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Where I might be just trickling into the pro shop, you could be going up into the bar and. <laughs> I could be in my he might be landing in the ham, egg and chips. I could be in my windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> Up the left, please, sir. It's a great finish, you know. So many cards must have been wrecked here, I reckon. Yeah, the last two holes are good, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, he's got it up the left. It needs to just flick down a bit. You should be fine. There's so much more room up there than you think. Toey, or did you really curve that? I, it's a bit Toey, and it's a stop going right shot. Yeah, yeah, a mixture <laughs> of both. Yeah. So Matt has hit the tree. That's a long way. <laughs> he's got 173 in from the rough. So you just got to go left of that pin. It all feeds to the right. And um, what did I say? One. 173. So I would be hitting like a nine or eight and just chasing running stuff. It'll bounce on. Nine. Yeah, a good firm I'm nine. Two front, so I should pitch it on with this and then hopefully it'll release a bit with the rough. Yeah. Ball, I reckon. You're aiming left of that flag, I imagine, aren't you? Yeah, the dark bit to the left. Yeah, see the hedge at the back, look. So that dark bit to the left is his flag in his head. Oh, it's a little chunk around. Yeah, it works. It's up the left, it just needs the bounces. It feeds to the right a little. On. If it's on, it's a good chance of a free pot on this green. <laughs> oh, it's well on. That's a good shot. Yeah, it's not too bad. Sped right down. I don't know how far back that pin is, but... It's yellow, so it should be middle -ish. Yeah, that's a good shot from there. Yes, indeed, sir. Oh, stop it, Matt. That is a big drive. Only the 100 in to your 176. Oh, just tugged it. Tug. Fine. I, think I reckon it's pin eye. It's a slopey green in it, so it's yeah. just in one of the dips. So Matt, a better shot from 175 to my 100. Just tugged it. Happy with my distance control, but just pulled it. I would want to be getting that half that distance. Really. Now this green is fantastically slopey, so we are both happy with two putts. We're both only one under as well. <laughs> We're so finishing level par, which isn't the point of this video. 
Golf's just hard. Massive left to right for Matt. He's got to go up and then down with big break. So now he's not hitting the down there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm marking that. It's going to let my head cool down a little bit. And the beauty with golf is it's relentless, isn't it? <laughs> just, just cool off, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. Are there any situations in golf where you feel like, I've, I've got this? <laughs> I could four putt that now. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I just, like, I want to play off five and then I would feel quite relaxed. Yeah, like that's just nice, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm not stressing off. It's that. nice, you can have a few mistakes. Yeah, well you can have about eight mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Eight mistakes, few eight birdies. Mistakes is like four more beers if you want them, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> At the halfway hut. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going two under. I've had enough of this shenanigans. Oh, are you not coming left? Oh, is it a lovely putt? I honestly thought that was going to swing. Oh, well, I have broken 70 stroke under par. Matthew, I am a pro, because pros always break these scores. You've wedged. I've wedged. I'm going in. You've wedged. So achieved. Well done, sir. Good luck for you. <laughs> Good free putt, that. Should we just stop now? <laughs> we should have stopped on the last hole. This classic you. Let's just play one more. <laughs> Let's just play one more. <laughs> no. Like, I'm absolutely fine being one under. Let's stop. <laughs> can, you break, can you break 70 video? Not if we're going to play one more. <laughs> Right. Oh, that's lined up perfect. Yeah, triple it, track it in. Come on. You're not allowed a free putt for f nearly 45 holes, bruh. It doesn't come, does it? That moved right. Yeah, thing. it did, yeah. I was expecting mine to come. Well, that's... Level par. Uh, not a bad round, but I think hopefully there it shows you some ideas of what you should be focusing on. I think the thing from this, with all these series of videos that I've done, and I'll put some links in, yeah. just look at the stats and apply them to yours. We yeah. play for the fun to try yeah. and highlight some ideas, but it really just gives us a vehicle to talk about the numbers. And if you're not collecting stats, as always, start. Yeah. Because Definitely. you're just guessing otherwise. Otherwise, you're you? going to the range just for fun rather yeah. than actually thinking maybe I should spend some time in the bunker this week. Mm. Unlucky, Matt. Well done, Mark. You another, did break. You, you did. Break. You were two under at one point. Hate it, don't you? Last two holes, bogey, bogey. Yeah. Ouch.